Hello and welcome to another video. I came across this image on Pixbay and looking at it there was something about it that just made me think of one of these action comics. So that's the effect we're going to be applying. But before we do that, a few changes to the image. I want to crop it to both sides and then I want to bring through just a little bit more detail on the shadow area. Right, let's make a start with the crop. It's over to the toolbox. I'm going to pick up the crop tool down to tool options. Just make sure this is set to no restrictions. Coming into the image, roughly this area here will do nicely. Clicking down, dragging it out, taking it down to the bottom and just out a little bit further into this area. There, releasing it. Right, I think I want to move it over just a little bit to the left hand side. So I'm going to click down. Now press and hold down, shift on the keyboard. So click down, press and hold down, shift on the keyboard. You can see you get those uh, numbers coming up there in the box. Moving it to the left hand side as that arrow's saying. Because you're holding down shift, you're not going to go above or below. So in other words, you're going to keep the crop exactly as it is. You're not moving it up or down. You see I'm trying to move it and it's not going. Right, releasing it there, right on the nose for the rule of thirds, double click into a fly pressing H on the keyboard to give me back my hand tool. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is duplicate the background layer. Command J, Control J will do that to bring through the shadow detail. Enhance, adjust lighting, shadow and highlights. Light and shadow, 35% looks pretty good. In fact, I'm just gonna switch it off and on. That'll do nicely. We're gonna click on OK. Let's duplicate layer one again using Command J or Control J, that's Command J, Control J. We're gonna rename our layers as we go along, so double clicking on layer one copy, we're gonna call this what it's going to be, which is Sketch. Coming down to layer one, switching off our Sketch layer. Layer one, double clicking, we're gonna call this what it's going to be, which is the Effect. Heading up to Filter, coming down to Sketch, coming across the comic. Well, I did say it was going to be an action comic effect. Now with this, yes, we've got comic. This is the default one that we can see here. We've also got sunny day, which looks pretty good. And, and seeing these colors just makes me wonder if we come back to comic, let's take a look at this. We've got uh, soften four, we've got shades 5.14. We've got the steepness of 1.4. Vibrance, yeah, 0 0.5. Let's take this up into this sort of area here. Yes, like the way that's looking. I'm gonna leave it there, 0 0.83. Bringing my cursor over the image, right clicking. We've got all these zoom ratios. Let's go to 66% and I'm gonna click down, just moving it into this area here. We've got these lines. I'm gonna take the thickness right the way down to zero there. That looks better. Incidentally, you can just click on this as well to go to 100%. You can click on this one to go to fit on screen. You can click on this one to say OK. Right, just waiting for this to be rendered. It does take a little while. Right, before we come on to the sketch, let's take a look at these eyes. I'm going to put in two empty layers. So clicking on this once, we're going to click on it again. Top layer, we're going to double click. We're going to call this what it's going to be, which is blue. We're going to click on layer one. We're going to call this what it's going to be, which is white. Right, let's start on our white layer. So clicking on it, switching off our blue layer just for the moment, not that there's anything on there. Make sure you've got the default colors, any other colors, press D on the keyboard. Pressing B on the keyboard will give you the brush tool. I'm going to bring my cursor out. I'm going to right click. I've got a soft edge brush, 100 pixel. We need to scroll up. I'm going to go for, let's try 13 pixel hard edge brush. That should be okay. Press enter or return. Let's zoom in over the area of the eyes. Bringing my cursor up. I'm going to press and hold down the space bar. Now I'm going to press and hold down command or control. Drag it over both eyes like this. Release it. In we pop. One thing I need to check out, coming down to tool options, Brush settings, spacing 25%, take that back to 1%. Otherwise you, you get a little bit of an uneven effect. Press in enter or return. Right, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to press X on the keyboard. So white is a foreground color, but I'm gonna bring my 
brush tool over this region, I'm going to press and hold down Alt or Option. So now I've got the eyedropper tool, no pun intended, clicking down just to make sure we got the right color. Okay, coming over this area, clicking, just dragging it out over here. Let's take a look and see how it's going to look, just leaving in those darker areas to the outside. Dropping down the size of the brush, left hand square bracket will do that. Coming over here and onto the bottom. There, that will do. Okay, yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. Over to the other side, just coming over like this. Great stuff. That'll do nicely there. Right, next, I'm going to press X on the keyboard. I'm going to put black as the foreground color. Let's fold this down out of the way. Let's just move myself down, pressing the space bar. There's the hand tool. Coming across to the blues, I'm going to press Alt or Option again. There's the eye dropper tool. Changed it to blue. Clicking in the window brings up the color picker. Let's just make it a bit deeper for the blues and click OK. Right, click on the blue layer, switch the blue layer on. Coming over this area, going to make the size of the brush just a bit bigger. So use the right hand square bracket for that over here and then down. I'm not going to worry too much when we do the sketch layer, that's going to fill in as well. So it may look a little bit odd at the moment, but don't worry too much about that. There, that'll do over to the other side and just coming over this area and back up and around even those catch lights in for the moment. Right, pressing X on the keyboard, talking of catch lights, we're now going to paint them in. This is the reason for resetting those colors. So we kept the whites there. That's why I only used the, the black so I could come back, making sure we had the same white tone that we had. Just filling in that, come into this. And there we are using command zero control zero to go to fit on screen. As I said, they may look a little bit strange at the moment, but we're going to leave it like this for now. In fact, what we are going to do is we're going to group them together. This is highlighted, pressing and holding down command or control, clicking on the white layer. They're both highlighted. You can click on this little icon here or press command G or control G. That's going to group them together. We can call this what they are, which is eyes. Right, switching on our sketch layer, making sure this is now the visible layer, the live layer, filter, sketch, makes sense, doesn't it? Coming down to graphic novel, we're going to come across to a twisted plot. Darkness, 3.21, a little bit too dark, just bringing in a touch or two, looks pretty good, just moving it up very, very slightly, nope, down a bit. The adjustments for this can be a little bit fiddly. You can always bring your cursor over the text. You can then move it up or down and just make small changes. Well, sometimes you can make small changes. Other times they make their own mind up. Yeah, 2.51, clean look on eight, dropping it down. I quite like that. The reason I quite like that is I like what it's done, particularly around here. Whereas before it was actually quite solid. Let's take it just a touch more. No, back up again. Yeah, let's leave it there. Contrast, dropping this down just a little bit with the, just move it back and forth and see. Let's leave it there, 6.07. It is all gonna be about experimenting. You will need to experiment and see what suits your image. Yes, you can zoom in doing exactly the same thing, take you to 100%. This is going to take you to fit on view, but that looks pretty good. So we're going to click on OK. Right. Once again, just waiting for it to be applied so we can see the image underneath. Let's change the blend mode. We have got a choice. You might want to try multiply. That looks really good. You might want to try overlay. That could look pretty good. You might want to try soft lights. That looks really good. But for the moment, I'm going to go back to multiply. Now I mentioned the eyes. You can unfold it if you think the blues, yeah, I think the whites are probably just a little bit too much. Drop down the opacity, fade it in. So I've dropped it down to 61%. Same with the blues, just fade in the blues in, taking it down to around about the 70%. 
to that area. That looks really good. Of course, you can come to this layer and you can fade both of them just a little bit more should you want to. But for the moment, I'm going to leave it on 100%. Now, all comics have that print spot effect. So let's apply that. I've just clicked on our sketch layer. This is now our live layer. We're going to put in a new empty layer and we're going to fill this with 50% gray. Now there's a really quick and easy shortcut to bring up the fill tool. Press and hold down shift on the keyboard. So press and hold down shift on the keyboard. Now press delete or press backspace. This will bring up the fill layer. There it is. That's the one we're after 50% gray. Select this one, click on OK. I'm going to press H on the keyboard because I noticed I've still got my brush tool. We're going to duplicate this layer twice. So I'm going to use Command J, Control J again. And there it is one more time. Switching these off for the moment. Clicking on this layer. And so we don't get confused. I'm going to call this what it's going to be, which is spots. For our spots, we're going to head up to filter. We're going to come down to pixelate. We're going to come across to color half tones. Maximum radius is eight. We're going to set this to six. We're going to leave these exactly as they are. And we're going to click on OK. There's our color spots. Changing the blend mode from normal. We're going to come down to soft lights will enable us to see the image. Looking at it, we're going to zoom into 100%. Command one, control one. In we go. Reducing down the opacity. Just going to take this down to fade it in with the image. Something like this looks pretty good. 47% there. That looks good. Switching off and on. You can see the difference that makes to the image. The eyes as well. That looks really good. See the way the blacks have folded in. That's from the sketch layer. Right. Command zero. Control zero. We'll go to fit on screen. Yes, I know you were wondering about these two layers. Well, these, believe it or not, are going to help us form our border. So switching it on, this is now a visible layer. We're going to double click. We're going to call this uh, frame one. And guess what we're going to call this one? Yep. Frame two. Imagination or what? Clicking on frame one, let's come down to styles with styles. We're going to come to the drop down menu and select stroke. This is the one we're after, which is this one. It is a black strokes just off the screen. Let's see if I can bring it on 40 pixels. Looking at the preview, you can see it is around the outside. I'm going to click on it. That's applied it. There it is there. You can see that little FX. Let's double click, brings it up. Stroke 52, I thought I said 40. Never mind. Outside, which is the reason why you can't see it. But as soon as I change this to inside, watch what happens. There it is. We're now going to click on OK. Can't see the image underneath. We're going to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to go to soft lights. Coming to frame one, frame two, even <laughs> switching this one on. There it is. We're now going to apply a stroke to this one, to frame two. But rather than going through the whole process again, what we can do is just come over this FX, press and hold down Alt or Option. So hold down Alt or Option. And because you're holding down Alt or Option, you've got a double arrowhead and you can just see the word there, FX, dropping it in. Right, let's change the blend mode while we're here to soft lights. We're going to double click and brings it up. We're going to change the color from black. We're going to select white. So just moving this into place here and clicking on OK. Dropping down the size of it very slightly. I just want to see a little bit of black, quite a dark image. But there it is there. You can see that black stroke line around. Yeah, that looks good like that. Perhaps just up a touch more there. That'll do on 37. Let's click OK to keep things neat and tidy. Top layer highlighted, clicking on frame one. Yeah, clicking on this again to group them together. We can have double click. We're going to call this what it is, which is the frame. The reason for doing it like this and not applying it to these layers is if you want to change the opacity of it, of course, you would then start to fade either the white or black. So that is the reason why I've done this separately. Talking of uh, changing things, let's have a look. Multiply. You might even want to stick with this and you might want to just drop the Pass it down a touch or two to blend it in. 
there that looks really good you might also want to come down to overlay and you can see that initially looks just a little bit too much but once again dropping the blend mode down that looks good as well soft lights like that taking the opacity up so don't be afraid to play with it fine tune it adjust it to what you like i've got a feeling i like the one i just like that little bit of mystery with it and of course you can come to the eyes with this everything is going to be completely adjustable 70 percent. just think we need to drop that down a little bit more with the intensity and there it is job done bringing my cursor over this area changing it back to my normal i did change it so we can see the crop tool and we can see that stroke border clearly that's the color i normally uh, like to use there is something i think we can improve on let's just switch these layers off it's this speckled look around here let's click on our effects layer i'm going to put in a new empty layer coming across to the toolbox we're going to pick up the smudge tool let's go down to tool options there it is soft edge brush 60 pixels 41 percent for the strength and sample all layers that is important make sure this is ticked let's fold it down out of the way coming up and i'm just going to quickly go around these yeah that looks much better doesn't it just smoothing these down removing those jaggedy edges like this will do nicely right at this stage i am going to speed the video up just going to press b on the keyboard and bringing my cursor up to this area here i'm going to press alt or option there's the eyedropper tool clicking down sampling that color just going to paint out these little brown spots they were also slightly bothering me and there we are switching on the other layers if i just switch this off and on you can see the difference that makes so there it is i hope you've enjoyed the video give it the thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe plenty more videos to come click that little bell icon that way you'll receive notification every time a new video is posted but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care